guess I had to. Now we became two ones from one two. I read so ready three pages and two years of my life. With what you made me do, I smile no thanks to you. You can't take your pretty face and march outside. I open the door for you. It wasn't love between us. It wasn't time we caught up. Active, or all in race to get me safe and free from harm. These days, everything has changed. Pull me through my darkest days, a constant phase where everything's a game. Always stuck in a Hi, so uh, good Saturday afternoon or good Saturday 
um, good day to you all. My name is Fanny Reinders and uh, this is the second episode of uh, porting a legacy desktop app to cloud native technology. So in this session what we will do is uh, I'm at least going to attempt to, to do a design for Azure so that we can move forward more quickly. So please do stay tuned and uh, let's see if we can uh, make it work. Cheers. So we're back again. Hope everyone is having a brilliant uh, Saturday afternoon. In this case, in Netherlands, it's Saturday. I'm just chilling, working on some Azure stuff. So uh, let's uh, share the screen and see what's happening here. Right, <clears throat> so I've got a, a blank canvas literally a blank canvas and what we need to do is um, you know going through some screenshots to see how we can split this thing up into uh, multiple kind of Azure functions um, but also it's important to to decide on the actual uh, data store that we're going to be using so uh, well Let's start simple, you know, we, uh, let's start with the database first, or well, actually let's start with the main, the main thing first uh, about the job card actually. So, you know, we have this, um, the screen, you know, this uh, job card screen, it's got a lot of facets and stuff. So one can imagine that that can be a function in itself. So the idea is, I think to make it, um, wow this uh, that's interesting showing uh, Azure functions uh, <laughs> in the live stream which is quite cool any case uh, so I'm just looking for a uh, Azure function logo and there we go I can probably use that one let's uh, let's jump that one in there um, and we can call this can I label this how does this, this work? So by the way, this is a uh, Google drawing. That's alt text. I don't want alt text. I want a caption text. How do I do that? What's alt text if I say? So let's see if this works. Oh, that's alt text. Does anyone know how to? Let's see. Hmm. Okay, in that case, we're stuck with the plain old uh, text here. Let's call this the uh, job card functions. And group this. Yeah, you can group this, which is amazing. Okay. We have our job card functions and that's like uh, responsible for um, can't really zoom in here eh? or can I there we go it's much better um, so we have our job card functions and what else do we have um, let's maybe copy and paste this Take this guy, copy and paste. Uh, let's get a bit annoying here with this uh, thing like this. All right, so we have that and we can also have maybe cu customer, customer functions, I would say. Because yet again, you at some point you're gonna be creating a customer on the fly so you would be able to sort of add that customer's uh, details towards it so the, uh, let's just move back so the job card functions will be mainly used for adding updating 
and um, might be deleting job cards uh, if possible but basically your crud for your job cards basics plain and simple and we would need a customer function there to actually add the customer so we keep it simple without any organizational uh, things with it but we do have to think about the organizational structure the actual company that's doing this thing because remember we want to do it multi-tenant so um, that's going to be affecting our data store for this whole thing <clears throat> um, so at some point what i also would like uh, where's that logo event grid um, maybe that's too complex for now just actually looking for a uh, is event hubs or event can you believe it there's no event grids well let's see um, Azure event grids hmm, something like this can I move this to that uh, I suppose I can yeah, that's cool I have an image so this is gonna be, gonna be my backplane communication mechanism between between my functions. Oh, I can't, can't move that up there. Sort of make it a bit smaller. Why can't this... Um, hmm. uh, maybe just call this job cards. Its functions uh, is inferred, I would say. Um, okay, uh, and then I have no idea what the right way of doing this is. Why is this thing? Oh, that's funny. It's actually supposed to be um, showing some random images on my uh, on my feed. It's because we have in cost, stream, slides. For some reason that thing was loaded there. But in any case. Okay, so now let's quickly think about the data structure. So we have obviously multiple options here. And I'm not an expert on this. So Jan, if you are listening... Um, Please tweet me what you would say the best data structure would be. My heart goes to Cosmos DB. But um, the idea is to keep it simple, right? So we start off simple and then we can refactor later on. I uh, just want to see if I can find those. So what I'm going to be doing is uh, plain old table storage because I think this is fine for now. Even for the job cards, I think table storage is a bit overkill we'll keep the the table storage that's JSON blobs yeah I said it blobs maybe that's a bad idea we'll, we'll see uh, let's see where is well, we'll need a table storage um, and we'll store the customers in uh, in table storage and uh, we need A blob storage now if it's a good idea to put it there because that is a or oh, we, we also might be using table storage for job cards the thing is that it can be complex it's a complex object and I see this as a JSON object that I just want to update and stick it in but the problem is if there are more than one 
update it might have conflicts so i have no idea if cosmos can handle you know partial document updates by many people is it even a requirement we don't know so yet again keep it simple that's the rule we'll just um, drop in uh, a little little storage there this guy Uh, that's a bit annoying. Okay. So that has that. And can I add a... Oh yeah, of course not. I have to sort of... Okay. Um, let me see... Uh, Jason, for instance, and we have a little um, dependency. We'll, we'll draw some dependencies here. So we have uh, that dependency go there. Oops. Like I said, this is a very, very, very early stages. And we have also a dependency going there. And we um, copy paste. customer data okay so if, um, I've heard an interesting concept uh, from where is uh, it's over my Twitter interesting concept let's uh, go downstairs from from Eric Lieben Eric uh, he is one of the designers or the one of the developers at Urela and I'm um, actually were I was actually thinking of implementing Urela as a front end but maybe we can get uh, Eric on the show and he can sort of step us through maybe help us to design some kind of a composite UI front end um, using a spa or something um, that's driven by a CDN or something. So that's also important. We, um, so somewhere here, I would need a CDN. Isn't there a CDN here? Can you believe it? CDN. Yes, of course, there's a CDN. So this component will be, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. let's see, that's our CDN. And then Cosmos is an option. So maybe just let's uh, put Cosmos here. Oh, I have to search for it. Uh, Cosmos, right? Cosmos DB icon. Let's uh, drag that guy in here. Let me know it's there. Hopefully you guys can uh, hear me well enough. Because I think the first stream's um, quality of the sound wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. Alright, so this is the event grid. So events. We're going to, going to communicate all the business events to. So, for instance, is a if a job card is created, the customer can be created, etc., etc., etc. I um, also to be clear that the CRM is a bounded context on its own. Meaning, can I do that here? Can I sort of can I draw like a shape around this? Cool. So like that, but no fill. So transparent. 
So that's a bounded context on its own, and the same goes for the for the jobs, right? The idea is that we can keep it lean. So the custom information is duplicated in the JSON, but it's also replicated at the CRM side of things. So because it might be a different facet um, in our system. Um, I would say we, we can we can do like the same for users, but I'm afraid to the user thing is a bit different. I wonder if we can do that kind of thing. If we can, uh, well, I can't select inside there. That's a bit annoying. But let's just say I copy that guy out. Um, We'll need some kind of user management, right? But I want the user management to go to... Um, that's still debatable. Because I don't, re don't really want to store passwords. Oh, that's this... Uh, that's this other screen uh, company. This one here, we have um, administrator and users. So I would like this thing to be able to connect to Azure AD B2C or something, where a guy can either make use of his or connect his, um, how can I say this, his, his uh, Google account. And if he has permission, he can access the system. But yet again, simplicity. So for now, we'll we'll just draw the user management function there. We can add the um, B2C. Is that available? Not even. AD. Let's see. Azure AD B2C icon. A lot of icons I have. That's not available. Um, okay, well, we'll just have to stick with uh, AD icon. Mm, that can work. Well, this is actually a much better icon. It kind of sucks. There we go. Throw this one in here. So whatever this will be, it will be. I suppose. So is it a possibility of me arranging this canvas a bit because running out of space? How do we arrange format? How do one Resize canvas. Page setup. Okay, well, uh, which is, oh, here we go. There we go. Nice. I like a widescreen setup. Well, that doesn't, this helps. Look, that's, that's easy. Cool. That's quite cool. All right, so we have our user management that might potentially use Azure AD. We have our database, that's uh, database infrastructure that might be Cosmos. We'll just uh, keep that guy there. Um, maybe I'll just use all my items that I might be using here. Um, our events, it's important, just uh, group this guy together, our events, and I would like my front end to be served from a CDN. So if that's a good idea, we don't know yet. So let's just say assets. 
so. Let's see. Group that. Okay, so basically that's a start. Um, what else do we have? Uh, so we can we can save job cards, we can save customers, and that obviously you know that fires off. Um, that's a bit. Can I just send this to back? Maybe send to back. This one order sent it back. So the idea is that this emits events. I just do that. Elbow connector. That's maybe better. Oops. I'm still learning also this um, wonderful. Uh, wonderful experience uh, so in any case so this customers will also will also submit events uh, and user management will also most probably submit a event or six uh, the problem is it's now connectors is a bit like that that should be fine. That is fine. That is also fine. Maybe make it a different endpoint, like here or something. This is kind of what I want. You know what? I actually like, don't like this arrows. It's a bit annoying. Let's just use a uh, arrow icon. You map it to there. You map one to there. You map one to there. That can work. Um, yeah, simple enough. And then the front end will be there. So we obviously also need if we're going to be exposing an API. That's also some of the ideas I've been spitballing with is um is kind of a, a gateway it's kind of a maybe this is also an idea to have um all my apis kind of exposed as maybe this is not a good thing just do this whole infra a bit different, a bit pedantic. So I'll, I'll just maybe hmm. the thing is this one should be there that one should be there all right okay now let me just see if I've got some space here and left beneath because this guy can go you know, like there. Um, it all depends on what we want to do. So maybe just resize this a bit. This thing is starting to annoy me. There we go. OK, 
Okay. Maybe the text is too much, but in any case, I think for now this is fine. We'll just draw a few arrows and lines and boxes to make this thing uh, work properly. Um, actually, put this thing there. Group. There we go. Customer data. Okay. So I have my assets. That's uh, basically sitting here. Just gonna see if I can resize this canvas even a bit more. I don't have any chat, so that's fine. Let's move this up a bit. Okay. So I've got my API management sitting here. And uh, this is basically feeding. Maybe I'm overdoing it, I don't know. But it's servicing an API for my front end. Right? And then, um, yeah. How do you spell Ariella? UI? Oh, pardon me. Uh, let's see. Can that be the logo? Yeah. Let's just use this logo. I want to create some images. What? Download image. Just like a yeah SVG. Can you believe it? Mm. Okay, fine. Um, Drop your files here. Well, how do you like that? No. How do you drop files? How do you convert? Oh, really? Wait, know what we'll do? We'll just do a. We'll just do a snip. We'll just be old school. How's that? How is that? Huh? We'll just uh, chuck that one in there. And we'll have a front end based on that. <coughs> okay. There we go. It's also uh, dependent on our assets. All the JavaScript goodness will uh, be there. Um, and I suppose there's a. Yeah. It's a bit tricky to draw this, but there's a there should be a uh, Azure AD component to this whole thing. So I think this is kind of what we're aiming towards. If you guys have any suggestions, um, please feel free to tweet me. Um, and then let's just see if we have everything now. So we have this uh, company users. We have got our. We did not. We do not have our company details yet, so we'll just keep that out of out of uh, scope for now. Um, we have our customers, which is uh, which is fine. We can create customers. We have our job card, um, and that's that's basically it. So I will. I will um, be next Azure Design. I will save this. Let's do that right now. Uh, download as. Ooh, cool. 
Uh, how do I save this as a Google version? Because I also want to continue on it. But for now, let's just save it as a PNG and we'll, um, we'll add it to, we'll add it to our, uh, assets here. Oh, can't do it like that. Well, that's great. Um, how do you, I uh, probably have to sign in, eh? Can I do that now? Yeah. Cool. Spitballing some ideas. Right, so that should be there. There we go. That should be there. So, um, Jan, if you're listening, please let me know. Um, in any case, it's uh, actually funny because uh, we need to go now. It was fun um, sorting uh, out this uh, whole design. So yeah, thank you guys for uh, yet again another stream. Uh, it's been fun. Um, and uh, do stay tuned for the next episode we will actually be working on some of these things meanwhile i will try to get these work items uh into kind of a um into get get up as issues or maybe azure devops uh depending on what we're going to be using um but uh, yeah do stay tuned and then um we'll we'll have a session again soon cheers thank you for everyone <laughs>